All right, welcome back to another video. And this one we're going to be looking at creating a form. So in this episode, I'm going to look at how are we going to create uh, boxes that uh, people can fill in for the class title and the date. So to start with the class uh, title, um, I'm going to go to this button here, uh, create a form from scratch, template or existing document. So this is going to be the existing document, right? So you can see that it gives you a little uh, thumbnail there. And we're just going to press create form. All right, so you've got this fields thing has popped up there. And you'll notice on the left, we've got the whole um, tooltips uh, for everything that we need. So what we'll do is we'll do a text field for the class title. And we're going to just put it over here. And we'll just maybe adjust the size a little bit. Like I said, I'm not going to worry about like other things like alignment and all this stuff. Um, and so what can we do with this? Well, if we right click, we go to properties. And it gives you a bunch of different things you, you could do. So for instance, class title. So that's basically going to be the uh, name of it, right? Um, and this is going to be a, uh, a five-digit class code. So say like, this is just what I'm, I decided to do. So that's what we're going to do. Now for appearance, um, I'll do a border of uh, black, uh, thickness of thick. And the uh, fill color, I uh, will do this uh, with this. And the one I like is that inset. So that looks kind of cool. And uh, also bump up this to 18. And we'll leave the rest of that. And then for position, this is if you want to be super specific um, with the actual, uh, if you've got like grids everywhere. Um, now options, uh, we'll put it in the center of the field. Um, so uh, about this, I'm not really going to change anything. The only thing I'll point out here is that uh, you can link it to a file. You see it's grayed out. If you just uh, deselect this box here, uh, if you want to get access to those ones. But I'm not going to do anything there. This is actually similar to what you have on um, when you do um, link destinations and uh, internal links. I've done that on previous videos. Um, so the format category. Um, for this one, we're going to choose special. Um, and I'm, I'm here. Uh, the reason I, I, I set this as five digit class code is because I decided basically just completely arbitrarily that the code is going to be the name of the name of the program you're using, in this case, Acrobat, and then just three uh, uh, random numbers afterwards. So how do we actually set that in the format? We go to arbitrary mask and what we can do here is if you want to have um, just letters A to Z, uh, you basically do, you say, you do AA. -A. So this doesn't mean that they're going to be A's. It could be any letter from A to Z there. And if we're going to have uh, a number numbers after that, um, you do 999. Nine, nine. doesn't mean the number's going to be 9. It's just going to be a, a digit from 0 to 9 in each of those slots. So basically, we, we're, we're creating a situation where you can only enter uh, the, the code in the correct sort of format. All right, so that's good, and then that's it. All right, so what happens? If we get to preview here, we can see what has actually happened. So you can see, I'm going to hover five digit class code. Okay, so that's what we need to put in. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say, actually, I want it just going to, have to put something wrong. So it doesn't match, match the field AA999. Okay, so we want it to match the field. So we're going to say, well, it's Acrobat, and we'll just do uh, 500, and then it will work. So that's how that might work, for instance. Um, now, what about the date field? Again, you can see uh, this one obviously has got its own thing here. So we'll just uh, put the box in. Again, I'm not going to worry too much about uh, um, many things here. And then we'll go to the properties of this one. And general, so this is going to be uh, date, uh, application date. Uh, appearance, I guess we should probably uh, do them all the same. So uh, it's going to be black, thick, uh, with the yellow inset. And what else we got here? And of course, we actually changed the font size as well. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to be consistent here. But anyway, um, and this was central. And we'll leave everything here. Now for the format, I actually looked at this format, right? 
There isn't there isn't a proper um, European format here. So what does that mean? It means we have to do uh, custom. So in Europe, for those that don't know, you basically would say BD, MM, Y, Y. That's how normally how you would put the uh, the date in, uh, in, in, yeah, in most places, I think, in Europe. So once we've done that, we can close that. And again, we'll go to the preview. You can see application date. And what happens is you get this little thing occurring here. So when we choose a date, for example, we'll say uh, yesterday, it will put the date in there in the correct format. So thanks for watching.